Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory again today. Satisfactory Saturday. Uh, any alliteration that I can get a hold of, I often will. Uh, and it's uh, going to be a lot of fun. We were working on the computer factory, the Sunstreaker factory. Uh, it does circuit boards and computers and we need to increase the plastic input. And I need to figure out how to get everything into overflow and into storage properly. And it's not decorated at all. Uh, the inside is is tightly designed but we've not really done much for colors and details uh, i need to figure out where the stairwell is going to go and i'd like to work on a little bit of the outside as well uh, we've got cosmic dancer lurking as they're working on a minecraft project blast jordan is here sweet sandy of course is here as well always good to see the regulars on a saturday i am full of pancakes and about to be full of more coffee so we are in good shape for an afternoon here in satisfactory uh, and we're just going to jump right in So we've unlocked phase three as of yesterday. And uh, that means we have access to aluminum and aluminum production. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe before we get too far into this today, we should go and get some bauxite uh, and fill ourselves up. I think we've got some, but uh, it's a long process to make aluminum. And I would like to unlock the hover pack if and where I can. Uh, I was messing around with some different textures in here. I'm not sure whether this is something I like. I thought it would be kind of fun to have the numbers on the floors. And I was toying around with maybe blue and yellow. Um, I don't know about blue on the machines, but I feel like Sunstreaker has a little bit of blue in him sometimes. And then on this floor, I was also messing around with a totally blue floor. Which, I again, I don't know. It's a little bit shiny. I, it doesn't feel very factory-like, so I don't know. We'll have to see what's going on. I might leave this on some parts and then change some other parts to be... A different material maybe that could be fun to have some of that stuff underneath the machines maybe i don't know we'll have to mess around with that and see what we can come up with um the main task right now is to increase the plastic coming in because we don't have enough uh, and i also want to try to make this look nice i am not in love with this i think we might actually move the manufacturers together and have them be um, fed by belts along the ground just to kind of see uh, we might actually get ourselves like a, s a slight walkway here to get up out over everything uh, but we do have some room here to try and sort things out so I'll see what I can come up with um, I'm gonna do the smelters everything else I want to smooth out the outside too the um, the design is okay but it needs it needs some refinement and um, obviously the the Entrance is not in the middle. I need to work on that. Figure out what's going on. We might have to cut down some trees. I'd like to maybe connect it as well. Bring the platforms over. Uh, I was thinking the other day. Uh, I might just take this. This platform and just go straight out with it. And just see where that leaves us as far as height goes. That could be kind of interesting. Obviously we'll move around the rock. Uh, but first things first, I need to check the box site. Pancakes on a Saturday? You are shaken. I know, Cosmic, right? My buddy Chad and I were texting earlier, and he was, I said, like, I just I just went to sit down to a pancake breakfast. And he goes, oh, that's right. It's Saturday. I said, look, look, it's a service that I provide. If you are not aware that it's Saturday, all you have to do is check Instagram. And if I'm posting pancakes, then it is indeed Saturday. Yeah, we only have two box sites. Uh, do I have more miners? No. Do I have enough to make a depot? I've got a couple Mercer spheres. If I could get... Yeah, where is the bauxite? I think the closest bauxite is on the coast. The good news is we've got a train out there already. So we could, we could bring bauxite back here. Although, we need water, so it might be kind of dumb to bring the bauxite back to us. I feel like the closest bauxite is up here. Uh, 
What's this to our infrastructure anyway? There's one there. Yeah, those are all in the red forest. I know where those are. Really, there's one over there. Might be a good reason to extend the train and find the bauxite. Well, we have to go and increase the production for the plastic anyway. So we need eight refineries making 160 plastic. And we're gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering to get that working. And I think I'm just gonna go temporary with it. I don't think we're gonna go too crazy. So I'll just build it manually. So eight refineries. We should be able to do that on one crude oil node. Should be fine. Uh, production. And probably get some extra fuel gens. 53 divided by, so it's 53 repeating divided by 20, another three fuel gens. Go with four. Super fast, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Those are some fun emotes. What's the little dinosaur from? Is that just a Twitch emo? Gotta pour some coffee. Cheers. Who hot. Okay, so... Refineries, we may need um, buffers, and we're going to need pipes, so we're going to bring lots of copper sheeting. Should be fine. We're going to need some concrete. Able quartz, probably. Oh, I was turning all of this into... Um, oh, my quartz crystal might be gone. Might have used that all. Yes. Do we have some crystal oscillators now? We do, 23, not a lot. Uh, let's just remove that for now. And we'll put some quartz in here. This will mosey while we're away. What is 12 to, oh, that's not doing the right thing. So five to three. That should be good. Uh, the Dino Dance is a standard Twitch mode. Oh, cool. Okay, I think that's really all we need. We're just going to grab a train and head out. Is there a train coming? No. Okay.
So this will at least have the factory moving at the right speed once we get the, the right amount of plastic coming in. The cool thing about plastic and rubber is that they have a byproduct of heavy oil residue and we can use that to make fuel. So every time we add like a few more refineries to our production, we essentially are also adding the capability of more fuel power, even if it's just a simple temporary thing. Wish the trains would render in a little bit better. I watched a YouTube video earlier about turning on and off the color grading in Satisfactory and turning on and off the fog if you prefer like a, a cleaner looking game. A really abrupt end. I wonder if I can get this hooked back up to the other side as well. That would be cool. brought this in I guess we'd have to work our way up that way the choo -choo mother cosmic I'm not saying that <laughs> Played Cosmic, that was great. Very fun. That is. I think we had to go over two. We don't have to go over two, but that's usually how it works. So we would go. I guess it really doesn't matter. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we got room. That would work. feel like, how do we do this at the top? Past it, so it's here. And I think down here is when it, oh, it doesn't quite go. about row oh, no that did not work at all the bottom is right it's the top that has to stop that's better That is now on the flat, so we can do three. Two, three. 
always so hard when you're on the ground. Keeps us from having to back up and turn around. Yeah, it's probably just easiest to have that just curve in like that. And then we just need to connect up here. And if I can, I would like to do it right there. Again, they these connector things go on the wrong side. Really weird. And I'm probably gonna need one of those. Right, so that's not the right block. I would need a separate block along here somewhere. Should not interfere with the other train. If it's moving, then we'll know. Hard to say when it's in a station. Hopefully I didn't screw it up. Should be fine. Okay, so currently... We don't need to be producing plastic here anymore. We are going to move this plastic to different spot. 20, yeah, we need to make a lot more than 20. And the plan is to have 240 crude oil per minute going into eight. I think this is a regular node. Yeah, normal. And that's going to do 120. So we could do 240 out of that and kind of use the infrastructure we already have. Or we could add stuff here. Dinner is finished. What did you miss? Uh, we're trying to get uh, some plastic on the go for the computer factory. Sweet Sandy, you missed world peace and ice cream. <laughs> well played. Um, this is the pure note. Uh, I don't think I actually have... I have a rebar gun? No, I don't. thought about the gas noblesse. We've never used those before. I wonder. I wonder if they'll take out those guys. And if I has R, I can then choose. Oh, it does work on them. That's awesome. That is cool. It's a great way to get rid of the bugs. Oh, 
I'm a terrible shot today. Well, old fashioned way, I guess. Ooh, I'm gonna die. I don't know if they regen health or not. Finally. I don't think they give you more either. Wish they did. Okay, I want to be on the train grid here. Don't need any of this anymore. We may not be able to build on that height. Don't know. That might be a little bit tall. Yeah, because that's all even with our current terrain grid. Alright, we'll find out, I guess. No, it's buried. Can't do that. Okay. We'll go down by a bit. It's pretty flat over here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So we've already got fuel gens over there. So maybe what we'll do is have everything kind of go in this direction because we've got a lot of room. And that way we can bring it around to the train. So we'll start with the fuel. I guess the oil is just going to go out this way. The old-fashioned way, die, yeah. Uh, 240, so I don't, I don't even have to overclock this. 240 is what we need for this particular setup, so we're good to go right there. Uh, do I have... There we go. Well, maybe we did get more from him. So this will go out into refineries, and I'm probably going to have this go up just because. So that's going to be crude oil coming out and a refinery for plastic. Residual plastic. Uh, no, we're just going to do regular plastic. And that needs 30 per. And we're going to be doing 8. So that works out evenly. Okay. And I can fit 240 in a pipe. This is going to be super simple. And I guess we'll just make sure that everything starts 
here. Give myself some room for logistics. Generally, I don't remember what the head lift is on these guys. Do you guys remember when they used to give you a hitbox? They used to give you a box, like a, a, a white box that would go around the outside of this so you could see where the edge of the hitbox was. I, I miss that. I do really miss the, the hitbox. Uh, does it say what the head lift is on this? No, I'm sure we're fine. We're only going up four meters. Uh, oil extractor. Do, 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 do. Can you enable it from the settings, the hitbox? Ah, uh, that's a really good question. I don't know. Extraction rate, overclocking, head lift, 10 meters. I think, I think water extractors have got 20 meters, 10 meters. This is only four, so we're good. Okay. Mind trip media with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Really appreciate it. Um, Canada Raz, good to see you. Thanks for the tip on the hitboxes. Um, it would be user interface, I guess. Uh, show icon text in radio menu. Expand organizer recipes by default. High contrast, small slots, HUD, feature alert, small slots for game progression. Oh, we can make those smaller. That's cool. Small equipment info, big hand equipment icon. Nope, it doesn't look like it. That would be a cool mod. If they had that. Automatic cleared suspension, arachnophobia mode. If it was anywhere, I would say user interface. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So we'll have the logistics here. I'm going to give myself Probably another foundation of walking. We will probably make more plastic better later. Do I have a pipe? I do have a pipe. For my default pipes, that seems like a bland, bland customizer. Pipeline swatch is gray. I don't even have like a pipe. Hold on. I need to add that to the menu. Right, that gives us all the different stuff. That is a really boring basic swatch. Let's switch that up. Um, 
Maybe we can do this for pipes. Very shiny. Unpainted. Carbon steel is really dark. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to try for swatches. I feel like the pipeline swatch is just a little bit on the dull side. This is going to be crude oil, so we, we make we could use a couple different things. Let's just go with this for pipes for now. Actually, we'll go... This is all crude oil, so we'll do... Oh, crap. Pipes and standard. I want this one. It saves ourselves a little bit of time. It's usually better to hook up the machines first. breaking my rule. Normally I put pipes higher because of um, backflow, but this is just a temporary quick setup to get things going. Where's the middle? One, two, three, four. Let's do a different one here. So we can see that it's moving. And I guess Roost Boy Ten, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. That is not quite on the grid, is it? That's one meter off. Okay. So that is the crude oil hooked up. Power is going to be on this side. So that'll be fine. And the export is going to be plastic and heavy oil residue. And the heavy oil residue, frozen cam again. Sorry, folks. I am still working on this. I think it's a firmware update for the cam link. Thanks for the heads up. It's a very simple fix. All I have to do is just turn off the, change the feed on the cam link and change it back. Um, normally it doesn't happen that early in stream though. I did notice yesterday that my focus pull wasn't happening, but it's also a darker shot. Uh, my frame rate is at 80 instead of 125. So is that I could increase the ISO, but I'd rather have a slightly darker shot than the focus pull happening all the time. Good old turn it off and on again. Yeah, the problem is that like a Cam Link 4K is not expense, not a cheap piece of equipment. The fact that it freezes is frustrating, right? So we're doing this over here. Uh, we are taking the residual oil or the heavy oil residue and it is going into this heavy oil, oil residue fuel so it takes 30 
and makes to 20. So t 30 in, 20 out. It may even take a break early. Um, plastic. So 10. So we've got 80 coming out, which means, means I need three more refineries here doing fuel. We'll leave a decent amount of space. And this is going to be doing fuel. I guess I could start it down the other end too, couldn't I? And then fill this with um, power. Hmm. That's probably the smarter thing to do. Alright, I just missed the train and I felt like I got really out of sorts yesterday when I was taking my breaks during the daytime. So uh, because it is dark and it's hard to work in this game in the dark until we can get some mods, I may actually add a mod to allow myself to have like all daytime all the time. Um, but I'm going to throw a, a schedule on this train and uh, I'm going to take a short break and then that way our breaks will line up with the night time. Uh, let's do Mirage, Sunstreaker, Wheeljack. I'm just, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just do Wheeljack. We don't need to do Sunstreaker. Cool. Uh, give me four or five minutes, folks. I'll be right back.
So one of the things that's nice about this is that sometimes if I come back, I can see where we are um, missing a train block. So you notice at the end of my break where we waited a really long time up here. And it's because there's there's a different, there's not a train block at the front end of the Sunstreaker station. So if I grab a signal. See, this is all one block. This green one, all the way through here. So when the train was in the station, we had to wait back there, and that's not good. So we need to put a train block in here. We're gonna put a couple actually. I'm gonna do one there. And then I'll probably put another one on this this guy here. Uh, although, I wish we could do that. I guess we can't. It's a little annoying. Um, I guess that's close enough. So now, this green one has got a fork, but it's not the end of the world. I wish the train system was just a little bit better. I do find it kind of clunky. You should be able to put these block signals wherever. I think that would be much better. Rather than at the break in a track, you should just be able to place them anywhere. Thank you, Sandy. I would also love to be able to turn the headlights on and off. We should not have a problem with uh, our train hindering uh, Mirage from down there. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but I think my local lawnmower is about to start something. Hold on, give me one second here. guy that does the grounds maintenance around my apartment building uh, does not know how to use a rake. Only leaf blower. Even when there's seven leaves, leaf blower. And it takes twice as long and is twice as loud. Well, more than twice as loud. Uh, but yeah, it always seems to happen when I'm doing like a podcast or a stream. Uh, math. I need... Residual fuel refinery. I need to figure out what I don't. I I need to check my alternate recipes here. It might be a good opportunity to check that out. Let me just grab a ma'am. Don't have got. Diluted package fuel. So that's heavy oil residue and water. 
and a diluted package fuel. So it takes one. I might have to look up this recipe. We might want to grab that. That's a really good recipe too, so I don't know. Insulate cable. Steel canisters. Alternate polymer resin. I don't want to make polymer resin. Alternate rubber. I'm tempted just to grab this one. Um, diluted packaged fuel. So, packaged fuel, 40 fuel, plus the canister equals 40. Diluted packaged fuel is 30 residue, plus water. And it gives you 60 in a refinery. But I have to, ha I have to package the water, too. I wonder if there's just, like, a good... comparison table diluted fuel so this goes 60 6 to 4 So package, so this goes regular residual, heavy oil residue goes to 40, six to four. And then this is three to six. So you get a lot more fuel, but you have to use some of your plastic to make the water bottle. I think we'll look at that for later. Uh, I should grab it while I think about it, though. So I'm still going to select this. So at least we have the option now. So fuel. Residual fuel. That's what we want to do. So it's 60 to 40. So we only need two of these. Yeah, I don't want to make polymer resin. I just want to do yeah, heavy oil residue and 40. And this is going to be making... Plastic. 10. So it's 80. So I really only need two of these or one overclocked. But we'll do. We'll do two, I guess. So this is going to be making residual fuel. Residual fuel. So that'll be making 80 residual fuel, and then we'll have no other byproducts. Right. So then out of the back here, we'll have to just hook up some power power gens to eat up that fuel. Could you recycle the bottles? Yes. Yeah, you can 100% do that. Once you get enough bottles going, you can recycle bottles. Yeah. Yeah, you get the bottle back. It comes out the other side. I guess you just have to do some math and figure out what you want to do. This for me is just like a quicker 
quick way to do things. Now, I feel like these fuel gens are going to be ginormous. Can I f line these up? Say that looks like it's lined up. So this is going to be putting out 80 per minute. And this is going to consume... I want to say it's 12. 20. So we just need four of these. easy and there's no solid byproduct it's just the oil Oh no, sorry. Pipes. all hooked up and looks good so the power on these are in the front and those are on the back and so this needs the heavy oil residue and that's going to be coming down this way 10 per minute in the plastic so I'll do the plastic first no the pipes I think we'll take the plastic up and over. So I'll do that for the plastic. 20 per minute. I might be able to put the, split, the merger on the line. That's too bad. Wonder. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably have to do it here. It's the total. Uh, we're doing a Mark Three belt. You snap. You will. Excellent. Is everybody following along so far? 
Jay Christ, good to see you. Hello. You're doing well. I just deleted stuff while looking at the chat. That's a bad habit to be in in this game. Hopefully I didn't delete anything in the background that I need. should be able to do the pipes on the same line. And I'm gonna change that to, this is oil residue. the wrong button. That's there. That's there. Kind of fun to mess around with all these primary colors. It does really remind me of the the 80s Transformers. You don't realize how big these pipes are until you're actually making them right next to them. Like they're taller than me. This one visual. And then really, this is just going to be a quick turnaround here. Actually, that's all going to be purple, isn't it? Never mind. The, the stuff inside is not changing until it gets to the other side. So that's the royal oil residue going into that. Plastic is coming out this way. And the plastic, we can just hook into this guy right there. Uh, is that going to be... That's not on the right space for now. One mod I would definitely like to install is one that has different conveyors. conveyor poles, I should say. It's not going to go 
evenly, I don't think. Nope. Uh, we'll have to do... Lift, I guess. Still won't work. Yeah. That's fine. That'll work for now. So that's the plastic output. Uh, we have the fuel input. And then, I don't know, these can be fuel gen color, why not? And then we just have to hook up the power, I guess. And that's probably going to be easiest along here. It is really fun to set up these super basic things just to kind of get yourself going on certain products because it's uh, it really kind of tests your your game knowledge, how quickly and easily you can set things up. Like this is only going to take this is I guess the first couple hours in the stream, but it's not crazy. Uh, this will have to sneak in here, I guess. Not even clipping. It feels very old school with the, uh, with the kind of clothesline power supplies. And then these, are these going to line up at all? No, of course not. We'll just put these on the same. Like that. Probably get up on top of here, this would be easier. There we go. I don't remember when they added in the fact that you can connect poles within the line, but it makes a big difference. And then these guys need some power. a little tighter with this. Right. 
so those guys have got power, and these guys have got power. We just have to bring the power over. And the best spot for that is probably going to be right here. So now we just need to make sure they all have recipes. So you can do copy and paste, which saves you a lot of time, a lot of popping the UI open and shut again. Plastic. Uh, you are doing fuel. Fuel. I think that's it. Now we just need to power the crude oil and we're good. I don't see any red lights. These guys just don't have any... No connection. Oh. He's not hooked up, and you are no power. That's fine. I just need one more power pole here. And of course, the power for this is on the back, which makes no sense. So we'll bring this down from here, I guess. So, pure crude oil, 240, making no noise at all, which is weird. I thought that these things were louder. Maybe I have them turned down in my settings. So this should start to receive and make plastic. You should start to see plastic on the go. There we go. And then eventually, this will fill up. That's it. Plastic. Made. Didn't they used to sound like a car engine? They did. I wonder, actually... I may have them turned down. Audio. Factory volume. Well, factory volume is only at 27. You know, it looks like I've left everything pretty loud. Water extractor, oil extractor volume is at 100. I just have the whole kit and caboodle turned down to 27. Maybe I'll turn that back up a little bit. Oh, you know what it was? We turned down the factory volume because the construction noise is rough. So this is going to stutter and stop. We're not going to actually have a lot of fuel going right away. Uh, the good news is our max consumption, um, our capacity now is a lot higher. Once we get things going, our production will go up. And then we'll get more of a boost too. You see the boost going to 240? It's 
going to take a while for this to kind of back up. Slowly starting to flow down there. But that's it. That's some quick plastic. And then using, uh, I think it's an alt recipe. Yeah, I think it's the alt recipe there in the um, refineries to turn residual uh, oil into fuel. The real power is turning residual oil into diluted fuel. I think packaged fuel gives you more in the end. Uh, uh, one thing we can do now is we can actually change... Uh, we can change this guy over here. This other plastic one. We don't need this right now. So this other plastic guy, we can actually change this to rubber. And that might change our ratios here. So this is going to be 20 rubber and 20 heavy oil. So we're actually going to get more heavy oil residue here. So I'm going to change this to rubber. So both of those are going to be rubber plants. Rubber refineries. And that means I've got to change the output here. Uh, because they're both going to be making rubber. So they can both go to the same same thing here. So that's a smart splitter. And what is that doing? That's doing rubber. Yeah, going in there. So we'll grab this. We'll make a merger. Misty Joy, rating with a party of five. Thanks very much. Cheers. What were you up to on stream today, Misty? I really appreciate the raid. That's very, very cool. Thanks for sharing your viewers. Have you raided before? You are not uh, a familiar name to me. And Shallow Stack 11 also raiding with a party of four. Was it a co stream? Hello from the Bamboo Grove. Sounds like Minecraft. More raid hype, double the raids. That's amazing. It was a co-stream, says Misty Joy. Folks, in my chat, if you haven't already, check out what Misty Joy 11 and what, uh, where's the other one? Um, Shallow Stack 11. Ah, I see the 11s. Very, very cool. Dr. J1960, hello, welcome in. Uh, Momama Lisa, welcome in. Thanks for coming over. Please let us know what you're up to on stream. Mama Melissa. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, welcome in, everyone. If you are unfamiliar with my streams, uh, my name is Joel Duggan. I podcast and stream full time. I do the Spawn Chunks podcast, the Citadel Cafe podcast, and I also uh, was a guest recently on the Impen Skids podcast. Today we're playing Satisfactory. We've been doing a lot of Satisfactory the last little while since it came out in September, uh, but we're having a lot of fun with it. It's a lot of M's. It is a lot of M's, especially when it's all lowercase. Um, thanks for clarifying. Appreciate it. Uh, we were playing Satisfactory with a homebrew rule of the floor is lava, where if we touch the ground, we have to respawn. Wow, that is... That's a lot of floating. That's a lot of floating. Uh, you were playing Satisfactory. That's awesome. What? Where are you in Satisfactory? Like what? We just finished phase three yesterday. It's not my first time playing. I, I've, I've got like 1,700 hours in the game. Uh, in this playthrough, we're at 120 hours. First time rating here. I lurk sometimes and listen to the sponge chunks from time to time. Very cool. Well, thanks for coming in. I really appreciate everybody coming in and, and the uh, Misty Joy and Shallow Stack sharing the viewers. Um, so I was just about to get rid of this plastic. So let's just grab a merger. I can line up with this. Now 
ahead and grab that. So now these guys are both making rubber. And that's the overflow. Take that back to red, maybe. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Or we need to put it somewhere else. Is there nothing in here? No, because it's all been taken uh, to the train. So right, so this is not happening. Is this, this probably doesn't overflow either, does it? No, okay, so we need to move these depots and put them over here on the train. I don't know how we're gonna do that actually. That's rubber. So now we're doing twice as much rubber, but I have to double check the output on this. So this is now doing 20 and 40 on the heavy oil residue. Loving the Minecraft Satisfactory console world. Very cool. Thanks, Missy Joy. It's fun to play other building games. You get some ideas, you know, you get some inspiration, right? Alright, so now this is doing 40, and it's only supposed to be handling 20. So I've got this underclocked. I can bring this back up and handle the 40. No. It needs 60. I can only... Uh, I need this to do... 80%? 40, so I need this at 30. Nope, 25? Did I have that right the first time? 30 per minute. Sixty. So I need it to do probably at like sixty-six percent. Yeah. There we go. So it's doing forty per minute, which is what it's getting out of here. And that's going to pump out 26. So we're going to need... That's going to change this a lot too. Why is there two pipes? I think we're making fuel. Yes. This is going to make 26. This is doing 40. Why is this even doing 40? It's just making polymer resin, which I have to sink. It's just probably taking the excess from here. So this is putting out 120. This is using 30. And 30 is 60, so we need another 60 being consumed. And this is taking in the last 60. So that's what's happening. Okay. Um, so then this is making 40, so that's a total of 26 and ch no, 66 and change. Yeah, 66.667. Um, so we actually have more fuel being produced than we are consuming. Unless I put a little excess in here. And we want this to be... What's the difference, I guess? Nope, I want calculator. Um, Yeah, 
It's an extra 30%. No, 130. There we go. So there's the 26.67. And then this is doing 20. And this is doing 20. Cool. I just have to color code things so I can remember what's going on. Last time I was out here, we did not have all the colors sorted. This is all fuel. I wish that these were different colors. Like, you get two colors for the pipes, but they only ever give you the one. I wish that these things in the middle would be a different color. That would be fun. I don't know what I just scanned for. You guys are both doing fuel. And this is don't need that anymore. Most of the rubber is being taken away, so we don't need this. So I'm not confused as to why there's not something flowing on a belt that I've left around. I'll leave... Um, no, I guess we'll just take the whole thing. Rubber's going in there. Good, good, good. Oil is when it really starts to get complicated. Yeah, I think that's a it's probably a brain bender for a lot of new folks to the game. So that's not being used. That's not being used. Uh, this is all just going straight through. So I don't need that or that. And I'm just leaving that there for simplicity. So this now is going down here. And we don't need the plastic and rubber going into the depot here because um, it's not... We've got it coming back to the base, so we're good in that light. Um, we now should have... Rubber and plastic. Cool. So this all looks like it's going. There's nothing going wrong except for that first one. What are you missing? Are you backed up? 200 plastic. Uh, so you are somehow not connected, I guess. There we go. Everything seems to be working. Everything is on. Our power capacity is fluctuating because, of course, this is only producing not quite at max yet. That's at 58%. This is probably at 159. So it's just a matter of this stuff filling up. I don't know why it's so slow. Got 
guess we're just filling up. Takes a while for stuff to pressurize, but we have a much higher capacity now. We're up over 3,000. So that's good. Very simple, but gets the job done. So now we should be doing 160 plastic. And that should be doing much better as far as the amount of plastic coming into the computer factory. So now we have to go back and make sure that that's working. Rimmer, Rimer, SDK, thanks very much for the Prime sub. Very, very kind of you. Welcome in. Folks, if you've used a Prime sub, or if you have a Tier 1 sub, you can you, uh, use Bang Discord in chat to get uh, instructions on how to connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. So hopefully this has increased the production down at the uh, computer factory. I think it was two minutes and 20 seconds roughly for the round trip. We can time it. I guess what I should do is I should have a dedicated train. But it stops at the plastic factory first. Or the computer factory before Wheeljack. Oh, Discord points to Patreon? Thanks very much, Cosmic. Yeah, it's the sub command. Appreciate that. I don't use the commands very often. Goes to show you, right? But thank you. I don't have a place down here to kind of shoot this guy off in a different direction. I don't have like a where to park. We need to have like an offshoot, I guess. I don't know what this is going to say for throughput, but it looks to be going pretty well. 115 items per minute. That's not quite what we want. Is it all, all level 3... Somewhere it's slowing down because it's stuttering. I think some of these have to be smart splitters. But yeah, that's doing very well. We're up at 74% and 87%. And these guys are... Not getting any plastic at all. That would be a problem. What's going on there? All oh, right, that needs like a belt in it, doesn't it? How much plastic do you need? 30. Oh, well, there's a belt there. Are you not connected? Oh, did I put that in the wrong spot? No. Why is that getting so little? Hmm. 
Like it's not it's not pulling from down here. There's a belt. I guess there's a pause. The buffer just isn't working. Getting dark. Yeah, I know. I need to take a break. It's hard to see what's going on. Let me just go get on the brake train. It's blocking the train right now. Cool. Uh, I will get out of that train's way. Playing satisfactory whilst it's dark? I wouldn't do that if I was you, Joel. <laughs> Well then, uh, seeing as I have been told, I am going to take a break. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It is that time. Satisfactory gets dark every 50 minutes, so we just kind of time it with the sunset. So I'll be back in just a few.
All right, I'd say we can probably turn off the self-driving and just leave the train. So right now, the Mirage train is doing two stops. It's dumping off plastic there and then dumping off whatever plastic it has left here. Currently, this is full, so there's a good chance that this train station is also full. Yes. We'll just make it full. And I need more gas. Thank you, Cosmic. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Penguin Dude, good to see you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That will help. Uh, I don't need those in my inventory. Probably just trash those. Bauxite. Let's go see how the computer factory is doing. We decided to start a quick Minecraft project before Saturday stream started. Four hours later in counting. Wow, cool. Is that on the Citadel Cosmic? Will I get to see it? KO Extreme. Hi, I guess, back. So why were we not getting plastic up in these things? 105, 101, and 187. So we're good. We're actually pulling in more plastic than we need, probably because the belt is going faster than it needs to be. So these are ramping up. These are about to be 100%, which is fine. Um, so I wonder... Yeah, there is a lull. So we are not using the buffer correctly. We're really just kind of bringing it in. So there is kind of a pause. This is all Mark Three. Mark Three. Mark Three. Mark Three. That's a mark two. But that's because this only needs 80. So that's fine. What we should probably do is have for potential overflow, have a line here going to a bin. Uh, it doesn't look like we're getting much overflow we'll have to wait for these to actually fill up i think because we are making more circuit boards than we need we are currently we need 20 and we are making 23 no five seven and a half and seven and a half. So we are not making um, 
That's 20 plastic per minute. This is 30 plastic per minute. It's 30 plastic per minute. So that's the 80 plastic for that. And then 80 plastic for this. So we actually can't... We can't overclock circuit boards. So we don't actually have extra circuit boards coming in. That's annoying. I should probably bring in more plastic than I actually need. I believe I have the room on the fuel refineries out there to do that. Because I could crank this up to six per minute. Right? Uh, phase, we just finished phase three yesterday. So we're in phase four. But we haven't done any aluminum yet. I'm only just, I've only just finally got computers automated in the background. So we've got computers being automated. I was hoping to pocket more circuit boards. Uh, but that looks like I have to do a little bit more, more math. Uh, but before I get to there, what I'd like to do is take a hack at this design. Because it's a frame and it's a rough idea. Uh, we are um, looking to do not that. Let's switch that guy. Where's that? So we've got Sunstreaker as inspiration for this factory. And uh, the, the images that I like in this one, the, the details on his head on the top left are really cool. Uh, I like the mood in the, in the middle top right uh, and, the top, and the right hand image. So not a big fan of the shapes in the bottom right with the blue, but there are some things that I like about it. And of course he turns into a Lamborghini or a Lamborghini with like accessories with the jetpacks and stuff that he's got on his back. So, uh, what I've sort of done is kind of mapped out, like, inspiration. We're going to use, like, the wings of his head as kind of like a, kind of a nestling spot for the train station. And what I need to do is figure out where the middle of the build is here. and start working out from the door, I think. So we've got two on that side and two on that side. And it's probably not going to be flush like this. We're probably going to push those back. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, the door, I think, should be over here. So luckily, we're going to get rid of some of these trees. Do I have my chainsaw? I do. Yeah, the phase four um, elevator parts are big, big jobs. Um, I've not gone into, I think I've finished tier eight in my other playthrough, but I've, I've certainly not gone much farther than that. I've never done nuclear. I've never done particle acceleration. My projects just artistically just get so big. Right. So we either do the door in the middle or we do the door on the end. Maybe we have two doors. That could be interesting. That might end up looking like eyeballs. So I may not want to do that. We'll see. He's got these cool cheek grills that I like, so maybe we can incorporate those somehow. That might be a good place to put the stairs. Uh, but I like the idea of some windows at the front here. And 
we'll probably do that down here as well. Now we may change the type of window. And I may change, I think this is gonna go back by a bit. I don't think I want it flush with that. So what I wanna do is have like the train kind of go between these two kind of spokes on his on his head. Oh, that's the wrong thing. So I think we can kind of double up on those. So I feel like this is going to be here. about adding depth and all that kind of stuff to this later. Now we've used some of this space, I think, down here, yeah. So we may have to have a little bit of a shape shift here. And I feel like about there is probably the right spot for it. We want this to be encased here. And this is a eight meter ramp, so we'll need four meter walls. We can work out some of the details there later. I think that looks pretty cool. Well, I have to change the shape outside of it a little bit. There's a little bit of, we can add a little extra here. Honestly, that's probably what we'll do here. Whoop, there's a cliff there. So extreme. Thanks very much for using your Prime sub. That's very kind of you. Welcome in. If you are so inclined, you can connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Our Syrian, hello. How's it going? Uh, but thanks very much, Kale. That's very kind of you. Yeah, that's a little bit much, so that we might not go quite that far. I would like to have some beefy parts to it so maybe maybe this part here we actually bring out a bit uh, I do want to maybe bring this down here
And I would like the stairwell to be a little bit more refined and probably enclosed. And then this bottom part, I'd like to do kind of what we did over with Wheeljack. I like the kind of the, the way we did that. So this is probably going to have some really sturdy parts to it. And then here, we might have to add in some ramps, probably a two meter ramp. Whoops. starting to feel a lot more like a factory already. Not crazy about that look, but we'll probably fix that up a little bit. So that means windows on this side too. if this would be cool to have almost like a drawbridge a little different he does have like a chin piece he always has like a cleft chin in all of the versions I've seen of him that's kind of fun uh, also I think we have to think about where the ground is going to be out here I don't think it's going to be here I think the ground is probably going to be at this level We could change. Yeah, I feel like this is probably going to be where we're going to be for this. I think that's higher than where we are here. Yeah. And it's on a different grid, so we'll have to be careful there. So this is going to be a challenge to hook these two up at some point. There might have to be, I think this will be the grid we stick on and then the building itself will attach to it. So what will probably end up happening is actually, if that's going to be the ground level, we will probably end up going up here at some point. Uh, very likely at this point right here. And then all of this will just be on top of this. And I can maybe do a little trick here with the height. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that'll look okay. The iterative design process is fascinating. Yeah, it's it's a it's hard to wrap your head around sometimes. All right, so that means we don't need any of this. And I can always put like a an angle on this. You can totally do like a a corner piece here. Right, to get like an edge that'll go down underneath that if we wanted to do that. So that's possible too. would also oh that's gonna be tricky might actually have to go up higher sooner hmm some asymmetry in this have to see So we'll figure it out. It might be fun to have like a weird lift there. Uh, but back to the build. Got this half thing there. I feel like this should probably go up higher. So maybe we'll actually go up over the skylight in this position. a lot of overlapping shapes in the transformer designs. We may or may not keep the skylight there. Actually, maybe we'll do... Add the skylight in after that. Semi cool looking door. And I guess that puts us right here, which is good. And I don't know whether these are going to be dark. Probably. 
a nice high contrast. Uh, this would be cool if it had a light on it or something. I guess that defeats the skylight. Right now it feels very boxy. And it might be worth changing these windows in some cases. I think I can do... No, I gotta use the other ones. Do we want to use those, maybe? Oh, I can't do that. Right. There's definitely a certain, like, iteration to it. You're right. You can only cover up, like, one meter of a window if you go into two meters. No, it's anything more than three meters, I think. Anything more than two, you can't use it. Um, so we could do the same thing at the top. And I think still get four windows in there. Not quite. Did I do two at the top? No. Oh, I did. So if I did two at the bottom, I mean, it would work. I think one of the biggest lessons, and this might be true if the people just, just came in playing Minecraft and Satisfactory, is that you forget just how quickly you can undo stuff. So you might as well just try it, right? And then down here, we could have the opposite happening. Go with one smaller. That is actually the inside, but I think it's the inside of the stairwell. Is there a specific channel on your Discord to show what I'm working on currently? If it's in Satisfactory, then yeah, you can throw it in the Satisfactory channel. Uh, there's um, the Minecraft channel. If it doesn't fit anything specific, you can always just put it in like the video game channel, that kind of stuff. How quickly you can undo and redo stuff for that matter is still something I'm trying to get used to in your head. Uh, Arsirian, as a Minecraft player, it is hard. It's hard to 
I sit here and think about stuff for ages and think like, I should just do it. I should just make the change because it's so easy. It's so easy to fix, right? Um, I'm going to make these, those are concrete, I think. Yeah, I'd like to make this carbon steel, but that's going to show up inside unless I switch. I can change, give myself inside and outside colors if I do different heights. Don't want to use coated for that. That's a waste of material. And then I can just use the ones. And that way, outside, we can have the chrome. Because it looks really dark. And then inside, we can have whatever we want. Oh, but that shows up on the corner. Okay. Fair enough. So we just have to have this come down farther. Hmm. All uh, right. That was the reason that was there. Just go with a lower ramp. What would be nice actually is having this come out like this. Actually, I guess I could use the angled one meter. Is it a better foot? Feels kind of off center. And then that just feels kind of boring. We'll have to figure out what to do with that at some point. This could benefit from having some depth to it as well. So maybe we'll do something along there. Not to completely copy what we've been doing over at Wheeljack, but I feel like he doesn't really have stripes anywhere. He's, he's got more lights and patches, so that might not be the best solution.
Loki, good to see you. Welcome in. Alright, well, let's not get carried away with the outside. I want to make sure that I can work this on the inside as well. And right now, this is not great. I feel like having a door here would be good. That is unfortunately not a lot of room. So, we may have to rethink this. Not crazy about the stairwell. Feels a little bit more organized. We'll make it look like it's propped up by something. Um. That's okay. The problem is I don't like this very much, but the train station might have to move. So we'll have to figure out that later. I guess one thing I could do, an odd spot, is I could potentially use this part that I said was boring. We could pop the stairwell off and have it be like out here. But that puts that window in a weird little pocket. I'm not crazy about that either. I don't know what would be the best way to get the stairwell up to the next spot. So here is fine, but then of course we don't have another level here. We could try to do the same thing. Right? That would mean removing one of these skylights. Yeah. I want to keep that. So I'm okay with ditching this if we need to. So this might actually become more stairwell. So maybe we just have to take the opportunity to go up at this level. Oh, that's not the right spot at all. get us to here and then we have to switch and go back this way and that does put us on the right level And then I would just have to encase that. Whoops. flat roof maybe it's okay not my favorite the other way did avoid having to do that so we'll have to see what looks the best. It does give us a little bit more room here, which is good too. I like having the train maybe nestled 
So I think having an extra uh, height here would be good. Doesn't have to be flat. We could make it angled. I do want to see the train station, but obviously I also want it to feel um, symmetrical. And the idea was to have the train be able to drop off plastic and pick up computers. Um, although the computers are really just going for storage. We must have a ton by now. Cam broke again. Thank you. I don't know what's going on, folks. This is frustrating. All I have to do is change the source and it works. So computers, we're laughing. Uh, really what I need to do now is uh, technically I need to look at bauxite, but um, how are we doing? Are we doing 100% down here now? Yes. We should be doing 100% with like no waste and no backup either. Are we producing more cable than we need? Nope. Not sure why that cable's backed up. Maybe just because we had a backup on the plastic and we still haven't cleared out the system. I don't think we're getting any extra circuit boards. 255. If I take these, we know we've got an even 200 in there. Reboots Joel's face. It sounded more violent than it was intended to do. Well, fair. That's fair. Well, I do like this. So I feel like we should maybe take a look at the, this in the side. I wonder if this could be... This is black. What does that look like? Hmm. I feel like it's a little bit harsh. He has these red chunks. I wonder if we could use the red around the windows. That brings a lot of color to it, that's for sure. One of the best things you can do, I feel, with these windows is use the nudge. Uh, capability to give yourself some depth. 
or any kind of factory, like just using the half meter nudge to get the walls like off of the wall like that. Oh, I screwed up there. That's supposed to be. That might not work once we start getting the orange lights everywhere. And it feels a little bit strange kind of like ending there. So that may not be the best way to do it. Hmm. Cool thing is when you're inside, it'll be a different color. So it'll still be yellow in here, which is great. <laughs> Makes a note to make the walls off the wall. Yep. Off the wall walls. It's the best kind of walls. Um, I guess... Carbon steel might be better. think about moving the train station and I also I guess I need to think about the depth of these things up top because I don't want them to come to a point the train station is going to move as far as the north south position it's going to stay on this line here but it's probably going to go a little bit to the west Right, so if this is going to be wider, then this is actually going to enclose that, which would make this look less like a problem. So that's good. I like that. Yeah, it feels very transformery. I feel like those those might not end up being taller. We don't have a steeper angle. That's a four meter, but I feel like this is an eight meter wall. Yeah, we don't have a steeper way to do this. These are also bright yellow. And I don't think it's gonna be that deep. Yeah, it seems like he's got mostly like, it's almost like ears. So I feel like we only want to do like one of these, one wet, one wide. And then we can have the train sort of come down here. And we do have doors now. I think I've got movable doors. Yeah. Automated gates. Now these, you can kind of like overlap.
it's getting dark. Time for a break. Five more minutes. I can't let you do that, Joel. <laughs> well played. Thank you for the reminder. So we do something like this. And then have it be like a symmetrical thing there. And you can stack these on top of one another too. You just have to position them correctly. And that's if we want this to even have a gate. Like maybe we want this to be like an open air thing. And I think that could be cool. I just don't I don't know if I've left myself enough room. I feel like the train might be a little on might be a little bit narrow going to there. I might want something a little bit wider. Cool. Uh, all right. Did I? I think I deleted my other brake train, didn't I? Yeah. It's all right. We have a station. We have the ability to make another one. Not when it's facing the wrong way, we don't. Man, it gets dark really quickly. I feel like the. It's almost like someone switches off the lights. Cool. Folks, I take a break once an hour. It is that time. I'm going to throw on a couple of uh, stations here, and then you get to ride the brake train. I get to grab a stretch, refill my coffee, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I will be right back.
So I'm thinking about how I'm going to get more plastic coming in because right now we're just making enough plastic for the computers. I have a stockpile, but eventually that will go. So at some point, we're just going to have to make a bigger plastic plant. The only thing I can think of is that when the bin for the computers eventually fills up, then we'll have overflow for everything. So it's just a matter of how quickly that will happen. It's always tough, I find, trying to finish something in this game. Like when you want to finish a factory or finish a design, and then you realize that the game has also given you like another thing that you have to do from a progression standpoint. I do find it challenging sometimes to stick with the project at hand. I feel like Minecraft is like that too sometimes. Well, this is looking a lot better. I like, I like this chunky look that we've got going on. Oh, that's, I should probably give myself a little offshoot track here somewhere. Somewhere to park the brake train. So having uh, this area open will give us a chance to put in a proper um, overflow bin. Because this is... that's not... well, we're doing 160, so that's what we were supposed to be doing, so that's good. Um, what I want to do is I think I want to start to figure out what's happening here. I wasn't paying attention. I guess we didn't go over this here, so that probably didn't do anything there. Um, that's the right thing there. So this goes across like this. And I think I reduced it, didn't I? only the one thick. So we'll just do a frame like this for now. And then we'll mirror this. I think the back might have to be a slightly different shape. So we've got one foundation and then this goes here. And then there's another foundation. I guess we could have another stairwell on the back if we, we needed to. But I don't really know. I haven't really done much on the back side yet. But to make it at least symmetrical. One, two, three, two, three. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. And thank you for the, the bits. I think I, I think I said thanks for the break reminder, but I forgot that it was a sticker that actually has 200 bits attached to it. Uh, so I really appreciate the sticker. Uh, and uh, and again, KO, thanks very much for the, uh, the Prime sub, uh, your first time here on the stream. That's really, really generous. Now, as far as inside goes... This would have to be enclosed. And that does not really work out super well. Yeah, that feels a little strange. Maybe here? Instead of there? Oh, because then that's there. Um, hmm.
Yeah, we'll have to work on that. Maybe that could be a spot for, like, the light control. We'll have to figure that out here. I have done no designing for the smelting, so that is something that's currently up in the air. I would not mind having a glass floor here, though. Just for fun. I haven't thought much about the ends of the building. It does. It is going to have a cool shape, but it's going to be very flat through here. Uh, we could bring it in a little bit, I guess, and have it kind of come out. If we wanted to. That would be kind of fun. So maybe... Is it open because of the train, I wonder? I wonder if I should switch and have the train just be dedicated to um, like a two two car train. Cause we're not we're not dropping off any extra. At Wheeljack. Oh yeah, okay. Doesn't make sense for the tracks, of course. Um, but we do have the capacity to have this come back. And we have some room over these guys. We could emphasize this shape and bring this back with Roof parts. And maybe we don't go down underneath the tracks. Maybe we'll make like a support for the tracks at some point. Yeah. These are going to bug me, so we're going to move those for now. The hitbox on these, by the way, is, is at the side. It's over here. Yeah, and then this could move in here. And that would be in here. So from the outside, we would have some depth happening. I think I like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then this might be something we angle up to give more more happening. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be windows here. There might be. Uh, if I do, I wouldn't mind having that actually be... Oh, no, we have no room. Okay, so that's, that's going to be flat. So we might... How can I add more depth to this? Probably just with the walls, I guess. That's tricky to do. Possible, not, not impossible.
And we'll figure out that Z fighting later. Um, so that is that angle there. But that doesn't actually have to be like that. We can change that to have more depth. We could bring this in with an upside down uh, foundation. Or just an upside down roof. Um, upside down foundation is probably the easiest. I feel like having a similar angle is probably better. Oh, right. I gotta remember that. Uh, that is gonna have to move. To bring that into here, I guess. Don't usually like having stuff go through foundations like that, but seems to be the best way to do it right now. That's cool. And these kind of look like big struts that could maybe support the building. And maybe we can have whoop, cliff there. Uh, one more of them in the middle, but like farther in. So maybe here we could just take this one straight down. Oh, maybe not. That doesn't look good at all. Um, hmm. Maybe we just go with a small one. No, you know what? I think we're fine. We'll just have to figure out what to do with the colors. Now, I think this is the main level inside. Yeah, so this is probably going to be yellow, mostly. And probably not all these. We're probably going to use mostly these. I don't mind using these as accents underneath spots where there's stuff coming out. I'm not sure why we have all this glass here anyway. This feels a little excessive there. I guess because I needed something to put those on top of. Inside, I wonder if this would be better to have just like the regular glass. Although upstairs we've paired it with the beam really nicely. The thing is with the glass is that if you don't have another thing on top of it, like here we don't have anything on top of it and you get that weird flex with the um, the top part. Actually, I kind of like that. Maybe we'll leave that like that. Hmm. 
I think this works because of these. Whereas this is just going to stand alone. This just feels tight and strange. That's something I'm not a fan of. Is is this part? Um, maybe we need a door here. To make it feel a little bit more... Yeah, maybe. The stairs still feel like they're sticking out, though. See, that's annoying. Oh, it doesn't show through. That's good. That feels a little cleaner. And actually, we may... No, that would stick up into the part there. I could probably get... I could probably get a, a triangle piece in the corner there if I really wanted to. That feels better. So I feel like this end is coming together nicely. Not still not sold on these indoor windows. There's a lot of a lot of windows bouncing around. This also feels a little bit funny, so I need to that I think just needs to have a straight wall to it. Yeah, because then outside, it needs to be closed off. And this is a weird little half foundation. And we have that problem. So it's closed off, but it's kind of ugly. And we don't need railings here. Which means I can probably get away with not having half foundations and just have full. And if we have a railing, we'll have it there. make this look like it's held up somehow and this is going to be enclosed I guess a gate wall for now I really like the gate walls they're really versatile I find they're great for quickly blocking out your space but then giving you space to move around too Still don't know about this. I'm not sure if that's something that I want to do. I feel like it would be cooler to have a steeper angle, but I don't want it to come out that far. 
but we have the room inside of this because this is hollow, right? So we could do something like um, having this at maybe this level. But if we wanted it to be a little bit wider, we could just nudge it into there. And then attach the... Um, wall to it. You still end up with a weird sort of like side bit. As long as that doesn't come out anywhere which it does not. Then it can be just kind of like gross and sticking through inside and I don't care. So that kind of adds a bit of a frame to that. I don't know, that's not that's not terrible. So we may we may end up doing that. But I feel like this is good. It gets us access to this. Um, I don't I'm not crazy about these just being straight up like this. So we may end up attaching a foundation ramp. But then that kind of overlaps here and I, it gets tricky with some of these things. It's hard to encase the the train stations that have them look good. That's good. Um, maybe we'll make this a gate wall as well for now. Yeah, I think overall, I'm liking this. Definitely cooler than it was before. I wish we could go in a little bit farther here, but I think this is where we're stuck for space. So maybe it's time to look at what I need to do in here for decoration. So yeah, I can't really... I could come in a little bit farther, but... There's nothing I can do at this level because there's not a lot of room for this. So having this flush was not something I wanted. Uh, but maybe I can put something on top of it rather than having to push that in. Maybe we can add a layer out for some depth. So this is going to need a ceiling. It might actually be better to leave the ceiling up because then we could put some lights up in there and actually have this have like walls. Could attach a light to there that we wouldn't be able to see. Uh, glass here is weird at the top. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if this should just be open. a little bit more consistent. What do I have coated concrete doing? It just looks dark because the lighting is weird. So this will unfortunately have that strange like color switch if we don't put walls inside of this. So this is going to be black. Right now all of this is yellow. It doesn't have to be. It might be better off if it is not. It might be better off if we actually had some windows in there too. missing one of these upside down bits. And these are all orange because they're smelting copper. So maybe we'll put an orange wall in here. Just because we can see it from below. The Saurus 27, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. That may or may not be needed. Could be a cool way to do the power, actually. Is that where... Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent spot for that. So maybe we'll just do this. And have it be... Right in line with that. be good and then do we go up high we probably go up high with that that was not high enough
And I think it's probably not quite going to be that deep. I think I'm going to start a lot closer to the machine. Although, it's probably going to be better to not do that. Be a little bit cleaner to actually start out here. I need this to be 10 meters. Darn it. It's not right. Cover pack when? That's right on the corner. Should be pretty easy to mimic because this is a symmetrical build. And then we can just add the nodes. Power. I have yet to really figure out a good way to hide power in the game. It's always tricky. Okay, so we'll bring... Currently power is coming in from up here, so we'll start slowly um, moving things off of this weird spider web that I've got going on. So that sort of helps it feel a little bit more cohesive. I also feel like I maybe should have moved that forward a bit. The intent was to cover up the wall. So I may actually have to move that. Darn it. What are you attached to now? Nothing. So I feel like this maybe has to get closed off. Not entirely sure about how to handle that. I feel like there could be some use for this space. Maybe we could create some power controls or something like that. Uh, why am I not using the hover pack? Because I don't have it. Uh, we have to get aluminum production going. I mistakenly uh, put the um, 
aluminum sheeting that I found in the awesome sink, and I should have kept it because I forgot that you needed it to unlock the hover pack. So I want there to be lighting in there. And I feel like we're going to stick it up here. I think that would be cool. I think if we had... How many do we have here? We've got two of each, so maybe... Oh wait, that comes down there. So maybe between each one, we could put one of these lights. through the controls first so I need to switch this around no the lights are on that side so then this here needs to connect to that and it's this it needs to connect Yeah, doing the lighting and stuff is going to be really tricky. It doesn't hurt that I've got help that I got nothing to stand on. Yeah, the jetpack is good and bad. It's good for moving, it's not great for building. Orange lights. So, yes, cool, but need more. I feel like just the two doesn't cut it, and I am definitely not liking the glass. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the shiny stuff, but it is fun for now. It reflects the, the light nicely. Now, does that... I feel like we might need beams kind of like partially through. Although if I put the beams in the middle, then that's going to kind of like block the actual light. I wonder if we could use some cool details like these architecture pieces. I mean, it gets really industrial, and I'm trying to go for more sci-fi. I feel like this needs a cool frame, maybe.
plastic's a little bit darker. I almost want to have it be open, right? Oh no, that's just the, the input. I guess it's the bottom part. Oh no, that's also hidden. Okay. Just like it feels like it needs a cool like light effect. I don't mind the blue. The blue and the orange looks cool. I think I'm going to have a separate light control for that room that might need to be a little bit brighter. I do like the simplicity in here. I think that's working for now. Turn our attention this way. Do... I wonder if we want this stuff to be orange. I know it goes into the glass, but I might, it might be better with different glass here. Maybe I just ditched the glass idea altogether and we just have the power frame be what kind of says don't cross the line, you know? I was thinking that instead of like a pattern on here, it would be better to have a pattern on the inside. I, I like the orange better, I think. And it gives a good kind of like edge. I was debating doing just regular concrete. Oh, not the coated stuff. Um, regular. But then making it like jet black. Because he has a lot of black in him, right? And if we did that, maybe we could have a custom color with orange lines. Because the problem when you do lines uh, in the patterns, here's something I, I don't like about the way that they have the patterns. Like, say I want to do a corner line, right? Um, if I want to do that, it has to be on the inside. If I wanted to do an outside piece, if I want to have a line that traced this whole thing, when I get to a T-junction, I have to put the lines on the black one. I can't put the lines on here because if I have, let's just say double lines here, right? And I have double lines here. Oops. Right? You don't get a corner. You can have a single line along here and you can have double lines along here, but then you don't they don't match up. So the thing to do is to grab the colors. So let's grab our orange and put this on the custom. So the secondary color is your, um, say default blue matte. And then your primary color is this one. And this is gonna be, this might not work, so it's minus 10. Okay, it didn't copy the minus 10. So now, if I do these ones in here, are you getting darker? No. Do that, that. It is getting darker. That's weird. 
Oh, it's darker because it's matte. That's why. Uh, and then if I chose my patterns and I decided to do this. And then we would do just a single line here. And then we would remove the pattern here. So we could have the orange. But again, you can see the issue with the Z fighting of the windows below. So if we go downstairs and we change these windows or remove them entirely. Or at least remove the top ones. Because then we could do a wall. fight up here and I was debating doing the blue floor and I'm not entirely sure kind of a nice nod to the fact that he's sometimes blue that sunstreaker is sometimes blue if I did this though it might be better off as a shiny blue floor Oh no, you can't color cables. That would be cool if you could, but no, no. This, yeah, this is a the highlight is a um, that's a bug. All you have to do is just like try to delete it again, and it'll go away. I think I like the the black. It's tough to aim at. That'll be good on the four below too, because it'll be just like a nice neutral, nice neutral color. And then patterns, we'll do corner. That's, oh, missed one. Man, one of the best things I ever did was take the time in between streams and put together a bunch of color swatches and save colors for for this. It really makes a big difference. I don't mind the blue floor. It's a little, little strange. Kind of wonder whether we should make that orange. Or maybe use this color. There we go. I think those are the same blues. 2462D2. Yep, cool. Joel was smart. All right, well, we can probably apply the same black and orange here then. I guess I should change the material first. This one's a bit easier because the machines are not as tightly packed. Oops. I 
This one. Corner piece, corner piece, middle piece. Pretty cool. We'll just do this consistently for now. And then we used this one. great that is well done cosmic thank you very much for the break reminder and the 200 bits claptrap sticker continues to not disappoint uh very very cool and yes the lights have gone out holy crap time for a break is the train nearby we just ride that one nope looks like he is very far away train 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 Since Cosmic said pink, pink train. Do, 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 do. Mirage, wheel check. Save changes. Once again, folks, I take a break once an hour. Gives you a chance to go grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. You can find me at Joel Duggan on Twitch, on Twitter, on Instagram. Share me around. Uh, we're trying to grow the channel. I would very much appreciate it. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
All right, let's turn off the self-driving here before we get too far away. Thanks for the lurk, KO. Appreciate it. And in case you didn't catch my reply, I'm from Canada. Thank you, Cosmic. Yeah, word of the wise, if you decide to um, decide to make these kind of hover tracks, when you get off the train, you fall. <laughs> there is no, no getting off on the tracks. They 100% just toss you. Yeah, I was planning on encasing this, but I think it's going to be kind of cool to see it. Um, I feel like... I don't know why this is an orange light versus white lights. Not sure. So we were working downstairs. And I definitely have to think about how we're going to do the electricity and the lighting. I feel like I'm going to be doing that kind of above it. So one of the things we have advantaged here is we have this space. So that means that I can run a beam along here. So rather than have to do this here, we can actually just run a beam. Um, along here like this. I think that's as far as I need it to go. And then we can put the electric stuff on the beam. I wish there was a way to hide the... Um, points maybe we can hide it with a a beam here although that would go through the light maybe we can do it horizontally it might be possible that comes almost to the end does this come almost to the end too no it's not centered should move that first. Might have to repaint some of these just to make sure we can see what we're doing. That starts off in the middle, but it does not end in the middle. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four. And those are longer than four. So I'd rather have the lights centered over the machines. So middle would be here and I had these recessed I think can't remember So we've got, that's the middle. goes over the edge by one. 
And it does go over the edge by one here, of course, but we can't see it. I think that's okay. Having a little crawl space above your lights is a lifesaver. I did this all in the Megatron build and it worked out very, very well. So then here we can just add these guys to the top. And then we don't have to have beams going in between them. Not beams, uh, wires. So there's no dangling wires down here. And if we wanted to, we could probably hide those with, with beams. If we got it at the right height. Probably have to delete this. Yeah. So go all the way to like there. So I could be in the same position. Oh, maybe should I flip? No, I guess there's it's not going to be even. It'll still work. Actually, that looks pretty cool. And really, you're not going to be able to see much. That's a cool look. I like that a lot. Now, I don't remember what color I had those. I think it was the black, like, reflective color that I had. So, maybe it was... The material is obviously um, coated concrete. Maybe I just made it regular black. Or it looks like maybe the dark. Oh, not that one. I just have to go upstairs and do the ones on the top. So that gets all of those. And now we just have to make sure that we have this going to the right connections. So... This one. And when they come on, they're always super bright, and you usually have to do like the on off trick on this just to kind of reset it. And they're back to orange. Looks pretty good. Not sure if I want this to come out this far. Uh, but 
We may have to because we have to move the train station. I think I like the yellow ledge here. I think that's good. Actually, I'm kind of wondering, maybe we can use our patterns. We do have this, like, caution pattern. Maybe not that big. Maybe we'll use the little one. Rather than a railing, we can just do that. Very 80s transformer. I'm really happy with the color in here. I think it's it's fun. It's vibrant. You are not what you are supposed to be. Oh, these ones, I guess, should be the matte black. Although, if I do the matte black, they're probably not going to be very shiny. If I change them to the floor... Oh, the walls are still shiny. I'm okay with that. I should really make a hot bar for this. To, um, all right, because it's not going to be able to be seen there. If I like it in there. I think it works over here. Can't say I'm crazy about it in there though. Hmm. And this is obviously where there's something happening underneath the floor with the floor hole or the wall holes. Yes. Dislike that. Usually it's a lot better to give yourself um, a two meter floor because then you can have a, a floor and a ceiling that are different colors. It's usually a good way to go. And so I've got the same thing happening here. So it's not great, it's not the end of the world, but it's a little bit weird that, I don't know why they show through like that, it's very strange. Yeah, can't say I'm in love with the black floor in there. It's not the end of the world, but it's not my favorite. I do think maybe we could have this be black. I don't know whether this is seen from the outside. No. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I may actually want to put a fake floor hole here just because this feels odd to not have anything.
This feels like a weird empty hole. So having that there just kind of looks cool. Cooler, I guess. And I feel like we should have some stuff on the background here, like some lights or some patterns. Like that's obviously a pretty blank, blank wall. I don't mind the bottom. The bottom's okay. But here's another example of where you can get creative with your overlaps. And kind of repeat some patterns. And then you could either continue that or just leave it, you know? I think it resolves okay on its own. But this actually might be a decent spot to have some controls. So I think I'm going to put a door here. Because you don't often get little cubbies like this where we could put some power. We could do a few things in here that could be really useful. Maybe this is a good spot to have the lighting control. Because we'd have another one of these on the other side too. Yeah, like that's basically where that would be. Cool. All right, so now we need to figure out how to get the power to these guys uh, and have it not look like trash. Do I want this to go to the ceiling? Don't think I do. So again, we've got this nice little cubby that we can run wires through. And we could probably just bring everything down along here. Junimo Rex, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. So we could run everything probably right in line with this beam would be the easiest thing to do. And this doesn't have to look pretty uh, because it's uh, it's not being seen. So we could probably go halfway down the second foundation. Oh, that's going to be issue. Right. Okay, that's going to be a little bit trickier. We'll go to at least here. Oh, did I pick the wrong spot? I picked the wrong spot. I did. Well, that's fair.
Somewhere in there, there's a little one that I need to get rid of. There it is. That's annoying. Why are you on the wrong axis? That's dumb. So again, it doesn't look pretty up here, but at least it'll be a little bit tidier down below. Yeah, the beam is very strange, I agree. So that's probably the cleanest we can get that for this particular build. It's not bad. I'll just do the same thing over here. I may just have to run this across the ceiling. Not my favorite. So the reason I'm not running it in the ceiling is because I think I might want to leave that part open and I may have to cover it up. So there's that. Which means we can get rid of these ugly bits here. And it's just going to be that one left. Yeah, again, really strange placement. The fact that I can't nudge this at all is on the beam is dumb. I'm not sure how I did the other one. Maybe we'll try that. That's better. Uh-oh. Where's the fourth? Oh, right. The fourth is going down to the bottom. I wish that I could just replace these, but you cannot. Oh, that's still going. How's that still going? Oh, because it's in the, it's the light that's not hooked up. Here we go. No longer need you.
cool. So, very minimal wiring happening. And really not that visible without the flashlight on. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. But I think I might be trying to tackle the train. As well as this. Good. Right. So the reason why I didn't want to run this all the way over here is because I feel like I have to leave this open. Now I may have... No, it would have to go all the way over here. I may be able to do something else. We'll have to see. But for now, one thing I want to do is... I don't know if we're going to be exporting computers. I feel like we probably would want to leave the option to it. So even just to have the extra the extra car here to potentially have computers and circuit boards because we don't need a lot of either of those right now. So rather than have a three car train, I think I want to have or like a fourth. There's one, two, three. I don't think I want to add another one. Um, if I did, it would be centered already, but that pushes this out way out here, and I don't want that. So I think we're just going to do two, but what I would like to have is, what is this? This is in the middle of that foundation, and it goes to the middle of that foundation. So that's good. That means that we just have to figure out how far we have to nudge this down. I think we just have to move it down by a full foundation. So I want the middle of this to be in the middle of the building. So yeah, a full foundation down. Oh, that's going to push it way out past that. Hmm. These are two foundations wide. Oh, because this is six. So two, four, six. And we're in the middle of a... That's a single wide. Yeah, so it would be three foundations. Three and a half to here. Well, we could do a half foundation. I just can't do a half foundation very well with the angles. We'll have to layer that up. Sort it out. How far is that? That's got another stop on it. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. Well, that was almost bad. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out, is there anything in these? Nope. Nope. Okay, good. So it needs to come back a full foundation from where it was. Again, thank goodness it's so easy to build stuff. So that should put the middle of that right in the middle of the door. Wonderful. Good to 
Let's jump ahead here. And I gotta double check to make sure that these are set to load and load. This is still the plastic. Now this is gonna have to move. So this is gonna be plastic. We need to unload. And this is gonna be set to unload for now. Not that there's gonna be anything on. Uh, No, wait a minute, I should leave that unload. I could just leave this empty, but We'll leave it on load and there'll be nothing in there to load, so that's fine. And now I just need to get this, the output. Is this one? That's being slow for some reason. Why are you slow? Because the cable is slow. Did I screw something up? Cable should not be slow. Maybe because I did had to I had to turn things off very briefly when I was rewiring. Maybe. Yeah, these are empty, so they're being. Things are moving. Oh, you're not empty. Why are you not empty? That's not good. Why are you guys backing up? Something is not working. CA problem. Why are you slow? I wonder if I need faster belts. 30, 30, 30. Is 90. Am I supposed to be making 90? I probably forgot to underclock a machine. I probably had to delete and move a machine and I forgot to underclock it. So we've got wire. Yeah, you're not supposed to be making that much. One of those is supposed to be underclocked. So. Six, six, seven. We only need 80 wire per minute. And we are making 90. So let's do the first one. And this has to be 20. I must have had to re-delete. I had to delete one yesterday, maybe. and forgot to re-put it in. So we'll just trash that. Trash that. And trash that. I don't understand why we'd be making less cable though, because we should be making a cable 
Yeah, why is it at 75%? If we were overproducing wire, why is the cable at 75? So we're doing 80. Uh, that is the wrong belt speed. That's why. 30, 60. Yep, that's why. sure that the one up top is also mark two mark three mark two that should fix everything so that's 20 and this is 50 this is 80. That should solve that problem. Gonna do for lighting in here under this space we'll have to see i think that's pretty good so we've moved the train so now we can think about what to do with this space here i feel like what i could do is i could wall this off and move the bins to not clip and then have proper double sized bins for the overflow and the throughput handling. Yeah, so I could do that here. Oh, does that show up over top? Oh, that's a pain. Those are big. I guess I don't need a double bin. Uh, this is not going at the capacity of a train car. So we should be good. I don't think with the train has been back, has it? Well, I'll move this either way. Let's see, that's probably a decent spot. Feel like that'll work. in the middle because I'm smart. We could also put it underneath here too and that would not interfere with 
the um Oh, that's the stairwell. Never mind. I guess we could have the stairwell have a belt going through it. That would be kind of interesting. Right there. Nah. Mark three, mark three, mark three. I think I have to reset the train to have a different stop because I think it's skipping us now. Uh, which I think I can do from here. Timetable, um, Mirage. Yep. I need to add this back inside. Uh, I want this to be there. They reverse the order. It's very strange. Okay, so that's coming in there. So we can remove... Oh, that's going to be... That's got a lot of computers in it. Wow. Box of shame. It'll be nice and tidy over here as well. Put that on the seam. So we've almost got a full bin of computers, so we have to figure out what we're going to do for the overflow. That's good. And then temporarily, we can just run this down here. I don't know what we're going to do with this ledge. Is that a full four meters? It is. So we could put in an upside down foundation. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Neat. There is a question in the chat, Joel. <laughs> Thank you, Cosmic, for the 200 bits and me missing the question in chat. Um, how do you make the blocks so matte dark? Uh, that is a trick in the... Uh, it's not the it's the tone so this is a regular concrete swatch and if you painted it black you get that which is not black but if you use this watch you get black and what that is is here we've got uh, zeros so you see black what you can do in satisfactory is that you can actually go less than zero so if you go minus 10 or minus 5 then you can get some darker uh, colors it also works for white you can do the same thing so I also have a white swatch that's pure white and if I do this white which again still white that's what you get right so that is technically white concrete in satisfactory but that is way cooler uh, so you can have that kind of stuff happening um, I also apparently have there. Make sense? Um, there's a there's a limit. You can't just go infinite, and you can't always get the colors. The harder you push it, um, then the less colors you can actually use. 
So for example, I still like I can't do green. Um, or if I used, I guess if I change this customizer color here. So if I change this to, let's say we wanted to do a blue, right? Um, if I change this to like a 10, it goes white, right? So it doesn't look right, but it gives you like the, a light blue color. So there's like a limit to, so you might want to go with three. And it gets a much bigger blue than if you just had that at one. Then you get that, right? So like it, you are umping the intensity, I guess. I, the, the RGB sliders in here are not tr how real color slash color programs work. You've got your hue and you've got your your tone. But I like this is just like saturation, I guess. And so, but it doesn't work. Like the more you saturated it, it should just stay this color and get more saturated. It doesn't, yeah. I don't know what this, I don't know what this value is for. It's, it's it doesn't work the way the colors work. Um, and I have 20 years experience as an artist. So, um, yeah, very weird. Uh, Junimo Rex, yeah, yeah, it's a. I, I can't remember who showed it to me. I think I saw it on YouTube. I'm not crazy about this down here. That would go up too far. I wish we had like half walls. And a lot of times, a lot of spaces would be very helpful. I almost want to have a door here. But that's the wrong floor. Yeah, like I feel like I almost want to have like an access hatch. Yeah, like this level would be cool. I guess I could continue that stairwell up one more. That would give us more flexibility out here. Anyway, it's cool to see that. I don't mind that at all. I don't think we're getting any plastic. Oh no, we are. What am I talking about? I'm just looking at it. per minute. That feels pretty sturdy. I'm actually pretty... I'm okay with that. Tricky to place. Come on. black on those ones it's gonna go black on the top ones too so I may have to rethink that a little bit
I guess we could do half and half. Or I could just make these all black. There's a good chance I'm going to want to put some yellow on there anyway. Or maybe not. I thought that would look cool, but it's a little bit weird. Certainly over here. Oh, maybe we just do one. I just realize I'm standing on a belt. It sort of looks like a bracket. The Wormbow! I guess the game overlays the color with the surface texture but scales the amount by default by overscaling. You probably exceed the intended amount of color change, but there's still a sensible effect for the result. Yeah. Yeah. It's very similar to how um, Minecraft dyes terracotta. If you're familiar at all with that. So I'm on purpose sticking around through nighttime because I wanted to see what this place is like at night. And I feel like we need some more lights in here. And that's okay. I kind of want to have more lights in here, but I don't really have the room to add them the way that I would want. And this is where this game gets frustrating because those are like the only size of the ceiling lights until you start using signs but yeah this is all pretty dim and I'm sure it's probably better up here because we're mostly outside we have no lights in the stairwells which is also a problem I really hope they add smaller lights uh, we could try to hide some street lamps in here but that gets really problematic because the street lamps are so deep like they're little right in terms of how wide they are but like it's it's this depth that you have to try to hide that's really tricky uh, it's also crazy dark down here and this is where I feel like we could probably do so we've got the ceiling bits here those could be oh I removed that do I have the pure black in here somewhere? I do. They need to fix this too. You have to scroll past the one that you want. So whatever we do in here has to be a little bit more subtle. I'd like to have this lit up. The idea was to be able to go down there, but I don't know if that's really necessary. I guess we should have access somehow. Maybe we'll leave it open on the side. Yeah, the fact that you have to light the stuff up. Making my way downtown? Do, do, do! La, la, la! Who turned out the lights? I'm blind! Oh, wait, it's just nighttime. Do, do, do! La, la, la! Thanks for the 200 bits, Cosmic. Really appreciate that. The, man, the, the claptrap stickers are so good. Whoa, that's a hole. 
I guess I could move this stuff too. So what could we do? I mean, here, I feel like we need some lights, but like, I don't know what we could do for, I mean, above the doors are pretty easy, but like we need something. I liked what I did with the beams on the other, um, Bits. How did I have those? Can't remember exactly. It was underneath. Yeah. So underneath the hole. And definitely right on line. Okay. Because if we do that, we might be able to put some signs on them. And that could be kind of fun. And I must have done this with a foundation or something. still sort of see what's going on but then underneath we could add little sign lights or even along the side hmm one in the middle or like one on each side like this light. Ooh, a red light would be cool. I think I like the position of those. I don't know if I want four of them. We might have to put another one down the middle. Four might be a little bit much. We may have to do another beam down the middle. That's going to be in the middle of the thing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Actually, a beam, oh no, a beam down the middle should be okay. doesn't show up through. No, we're good. Very bright. I apologize for the glare. Now it's super crazy bright. Bonk. I wish there was a way to not have those show through on the floor above. I like that. I think that looks good. I don't know about the red, but... I mean, the other option would be the blue one. That I have already. I could, We could make another color. 
blue light. I think I like the red. Plus, he's got those red spots on him, too. We might have to come back with, like, a proper Sunstreaker light, because Sunstreaker has got uh, orange lights everywhere. His eyes are blue. as I mean, most Transformer eyes are blue. But he's got these orange lights in his, like, headpiece, and, and there's, like, orange lights on his shins and his shoulders, it looks like. Or red? They could be red. Red or red or orange. In some places they look red, in some places they look orange. Maybe put lights on the inside of the beam. Oh, that would have been a cool idea too, yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. We could try that here. You're thinking, like, here. And then putting the beam so it's like, it, put it in here. It's a neat idea. So there's that one. And this one you only see when you're right on top of it. I think I prefer that. Although, one thing we can test is turning Lumen on. And then they will actually cast light in the game. Ah, so they don't get very far here. The fall off on Lumen is not great. I feel like they need to... I know it's not officially supported, but I think that works out better. Yeah. I really only use it for screenshots. Just a curiosity, what does a medium look like? I don't really notice the difference. That is cool though. They definitely come across as more red. They look more pink in um, regular gameplay. They're more like red lightsaber. Under is better, yeah I think so too. It might also be good to have these actually be, um, maybe we make, make those red or orange. Man, these panels of glass. <laughs> I keep on running into them. It does drive me nuts that you don't have as many snapping points on walls for beams as you do foundations. It just it doesn't make any sense why there's that inconsistency, you know? So a lot of stuff like this is just a matter of poking around, getting things to look the way that you want. Uh, oh, can't do that there. That's weird. I thought I could. I was hoping to do that and then, yeah. 
Oh, this is only a two wide wall. Yeah, some windows are a little bit finicky. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty active in the Discord. I'll uh I'll pop by later. See now here we could do well, no. Be consistent with it. That looks a little funky. When in doubt, beam. We're getting there. Certainly getting there. I like how the secondary color on the door is orange. Works really well. Oh, what happened there? You connected something funky. One nice thing about these windows is that they at least they have the end on them, so that might be a reason to switch. I wonder what this would look like if there was windows on the top. I just I like the break here. Hmm. I'll have to figure out which windows I like and use those. Lighting for down here is going to be really tricky. I think the thing to do is going to be to put some ceiling lights, like some signs on the ceiling down this way. We've got the same four, four foundations. So maybe a couple. Oh, I'm going to have to delete these. That's a pain. That's a real pain. Unless I decided to stick with like a beam or something. How did I do it in the other factory? I know I did it as a brief test. This looks so, so haphazard. I did not think hard about that at all. I need to finish this door too. I'm pretty sure that I deleted the ceiling and then recessed these? Yeah, I did. Crap. Yeah. I think it would be cooler to see a little bit more of them. I, just, I don't think I like the red. Not my favorite. I wonder if we could do um, 
like this be the red part and have this maintain the yellow. I'm liking that though. Although I feel like it might be a little bit, I have to come down a little. It's cool, it's purely decorative. Like there's not much going on in there. Although that's where the smelting is. This side is gonna be more window. I think once we get that sorted. There's not much I can do up here. Like to have more of a pattern to it so for this it would be cool to maybe dip down a little here out a bit. And we've got three of those, don't we? I do like these big bold black parts on the front. Don't know about the skylight in the middle here. We might want to do something a little bit more interesting. Uh, it would be cool to also have a light at the front door. So it might be cool to have something there. I need to get better at having like these ambient like track lights, I call them, that you see on Transformers. Just like little, little bits like... Um, Something like this. I really need to start putting some lights in the blueprints so that we don't have to do this every time. And all of a sudden it won't let me pick a color. That's annoying. go you know like that just it makes it makes it feel more digital right up to 100% yet? Yes. Nice. Are we doing any overflow? Probably not. Nope. Looks like this is still filling up. Getting there. 151. We should be at 160. Okay. 
Oh, that didn't work out very well. I was hoping that was going to go through something a little bit nicer. May have to rethink how we do that. Not a big deal. We could probably just um, have it come out of a hole and then go back in and then just kind of route it wherever. This can be kind of wherever we want it to be. I mean, we can have this open too. We kind of need to have it open, actually. All right. Yeah, this feels very strange. I have to say, this this is odd. I want to have some sort of useful space here. And we don't have a three. Mind this being yellow? I might want to actually change that to yellow. Kind of fun. Maybe the whole top can be yellow. Is that a different color? Oh, because it's a different different material. I think. Oh no, it's facing the wrong way. Facing the wrong way. Auto rotate. I am sitting on a train. <laughs> well, <laughs> did not see that coming. And then up here, maybe we can put the big old number three. Not that you're going to be surprised when you get to the top floor, but I just that kind of detail I think really helps. And I don't think that's going to be. If I had a three and a half, that would be very funny. Or two and a half, I guess. Didn't see the train. Oh no, I saw the train coming. I just didn't realize I was standing on it. Not great for picturing things or sh seeing shapes. We're gonna really see what you've used the shape language here. Oh, that's cool. Thanks very much, Cosmic. Yeah, that I'm glad because it's uh, it's tricky. It's definitely tricky. I'm just trying to jam out some last little bits here. windows we have just three and 
I think it's just a solid wall after that. I mean, it looks a little bit like eyeballs. I may not keep it like that. <laughs> it's like a giant head. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I may, yeah, that's a little bit on the nose. We may have to put something down the middle. That helps a little bit, actually. I may have to do that. Looks a bit like a cat. It does look like a cat. It's I. So one thing about building games: once you see a face in something, you're you're kind of hosed. Like you kind of cannot unsee it. Well, that is something that I have to mirror. Uh, do I wanted to see what these would look like on the bottom? Oh, they get wider. That's annoying. I do sort of like these. I wish we could do... I wish they had some connected textures in this game. That would be cool, too. Uh, obviously, we need to have another wall here for this to be supported. Where's the middle? That's the middle there. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four is the wall. Well, then. I did not anticipate that. Got lots of space. I don't know if that coming to a sharp end like that is good. Maybe we want to put one of these little guys on the end. Oh, that's not... That's not how that's supposed to go. There's too many. One, two, three. Yeah. Incorrect. That's right, because this comes in. I forgot about that. Right on. This actually looks pretty cool. I'm, I, this is way different than anything I've ever built before. Nice. Now it would be cool if I had a, um, a really good light. Oh, I think I just did that wrong. I'm hitting all the wrong hotkeys, chat. Don't know what color that is. come up with a different way to do that. 
Ah, you know what? I bet you if we used a wall... Oh, it does show through. That's too bad. Again, we need half walls. But that feels pretty supported. Like, I don't feel like that train... I mean, obviously we have to do a little bit more here. But that doesn't feel like it's going to fall or anything like that to me. That feels pretty good. Not crazy about that showing up there. But we could also put an edge on this. And try to make that feel a little bit more industrial. I don't know. I think I kind of like it without. I may not want to go blue on the end. We may have to change that one... Bit here to Human, it has been a long time since your last break. Do <laughs> not make me go fetch the laser. <laughs> the laser? <laughs> Thank you, Cosmic. Yeah, I need to wrap it up. I need to get going. I've got some plans tonight, so I gotta go. Uh, but thank you ever so much for the lovely reminder and the 200 bits uh, and the hilarity that ensues with those stream stickers. They are very fun. I'm really glad that you're enjoying those. And I hope everyone else is too. Let's see if we can get some distance here. So we need to work on some symmetry, but other than that, we're doing okay. I'm getting a little far away here, but let's just... Not bad. We're getting there. Uh, it starts to feel a little bit more like Sunstreaker inspired. Uh, I'm not crazy about the eyeballs at the front. I may have to rethink that shape. I like the door and I like the struts. I think we have to, um, so like these, these two big pillars in the middle, I think we have to do something similar on the edge, uh, as like a mirror, uh, or even just somewhere along here, have something a little bit thicker. Um, I like this, but it could use some more shapes carved out of it. So like if I was to use my cursor here, I think if I come down here, I think I'm going to go straight down and then out again. And then down i think it'll look less like an ear and more like some sort of technical thing we could also put some like antennas and like um things on top of it but i think that it's gonna look cool once it's no longer like it's not a big chunk like once we have um these like spurs like once it actually has a shape to the side i missed my jump there but having stuff like this stick out of the top I mean, this is accidental, but you do it on purpose. And it'll look cool. And if we can frame that train entrance and exit in a way that looks interesting, I think that could be really fun too. Having like a little portal there uh, with like lights going down the side. And like I said, like he's got these, um, these orange lights uh, on his, I guess they're cheeks, sort of. Um, and so I want to use this space here to add like lights and we maybe add some details. So all of this is very rough shape. Um, I spent a little bit more time inside today than I thought I was going to. But what we've done here, I feel like I can carry some of the shape language over to here and it'll look a lot nicer. Can do some cooler stuff over there. Get some more verticality out of it. Uh, I'm really happy with the... Um, I think we're going to stick with the blue floor. I think it's a nice touch. And I'm happy with uh, this in particular. It looks pretty good. Especially with the, the wiring. So it's very bright. It's very fun. I don't know what we're going to do here. Again, it's cool to have the skylight here. I don't know if we need the, the double. I don't know. It's... And then this is like a different ramp. So like we have to figure out what's going to go. Like why is this here? I guess outside of just like a light hole. I need to have some sort of reason. Have something in here maybe. It would be interesting to do. But yeah. And the last thing is going to be to make this look good. Uh, I may end up rotating these. And having this stuff not split here like that. 
Uh, and of course we have to turn this into a nice big window. So this will be cool because it'll have the same sort of like black vibe that this does. So the windows I think will be really vibrant because this is going to be super dark, right? I think it'll make the windows really stand out. So that could be really fun. We'll have to come up with some cool ways to light this too because it's going to be very, very open. Maybe we'll have some spotlights or something on the walls here shining inward. That could be cool too. But uh, I am going to go check to see who's streaming some satisfactory so I can pass you all along. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the back side of this too. Like the fact that we have a stairwell, the fact that we have like a back room, and the fact that I'm missing pieces everywhere. It's feeling, feeling cool. I'm liking it. A lot of shooting from the hip today, but successfully, I think. Very cool. Well, thanks very much, folks. I really appreciate y'all hanging out this afternoon. Let me just look to see who is live. Where's my, where's my website here? Uh, Popcack is live. Are they? Send them all Popcack. We've got shovel and munition. Captain Iraq. Ammunition sounds fun. Yeah, let's do that. Time to spread our wings and raid someone different. Now, I'm going to send you on to Ammunition. Uh, they're playing Satisfactory. It looks like they're quite far along. Uh, they are in phase three, so around where we are. So hopefully uh, you have a good evening. I'm going to be off to hang out with some friends tonight. Uh, I won't be back until Tuesday. Tuesday is my next stream. I'm taking tomorrow off. Uh, I will also be recording a new episode of the Spawn Trunks on Monday. I need to edit that episode of the Citadel Cafe and get that out to you as well. Um, but thank you ever so much to Cosmic for the moderation and for uh, the 200 bits for those uh, stickers throughout the stream. Uh, thank you to Sandy for the moderation. And uh, thank you to everybody that came in and hung out. And, and if you said hi, if it was your first day, I really appreciate it. It's, it's fun to talk to new people. And uh, I think you'll enjoy uh, the rest of your day here on Twitch. And so uh, give a follow on uh, social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And check out Patreon. If Twitch isn't how you like to support your favorite creators, check out uh, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee, and it helps me keep my streams consistent. Really appreciate all of you. Thanks for a fantastic week. I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye for now.